Hey, hello there. So today I'm going to explain arrow functions in JavaScript. An arrow function is a concise way to write a function expression. It's good for simple functions that you only use once. Here's the formula. You have your parameters, arrow, then some code you would like to perform. Here's an example. Suppose I have a function declaration. I have the hello function. All we're going to do is console.log the word hello. To use this function, I need to call it by its name, add a set of parentheses. This will display the word hello. A concise way to write the same function is to use an arrow function. We'll begin with a function expression, then convert it to an arrow function, just so we understand the differences. This time, I will create a constant hello. Hello is going to be a constant that stores our function expression. If I were using a function expression, we would say function, parentheses, curly braces, then the code we want to perform. Console.log the word hello. This would do the same thing. Hello. A more concise way to write this function expression would be to use an arrow function. Following this formula, we list our parameters. We don't have any. We need a set of parentheses. Arrow. Then some code we would like to perform. I'm going to console.log the word hello. And that works. We're sticking an arrow function within a variable or named constant. To invoke the arrow function within, we just follow that constant or variable with a set of parentheses like we're calling it, as if it's a pair of telephones talking to each other. You can send some arguments to an arrow function. We'll need to set up the parameters. I will have a name parameter. Within our code, let's console.log. I'll use a template string. Hello. Add a placeholder. Add my name parameter. Now I need to pass in an argument because right now it's hello undefined. Pass in your first name as an argument. Hello, bro. Within your code, if you need to include more than one statement, you'll need to enclose all of that code within a set of curly braces. Let's add a new line. Console.log, you are old. Hello, bro. You are old. Okay, let's set up another parameter. This time, we will accept an age argument. Let's transform our second console.log to be you are at a placeholder. Our parameter age, years old. Now we'll pass in a second argument for age. Hello, bro. You are 25 years old. So that's the basics of an arrow function. You have your parameters, arrow, then some code you would like to perform. There's no need to create a function declaration. Let's go over another example. We have the set timeout function. This function accepts a callback. Then a given amount of time, we are then going to execute this code, this callback. After three seconds, 3000 milliseconds, I will execute whatever this callback is. Let's create a function to say hello again. Function, hello. We will console.log the word hello. I will pass in a callback. After three seconds, we say hello. In place of a callback, I could use a function expression. Let's cut our function. Remove this argument then paste our function expression. Remember, we don't need the name for a function expression. This works as well. Hello. Or otherwise, we can use a more concise arrow function. We will pass that as an argument. We have our parameters. We don't have any. Arrow, then some code. Console.log, the word, hello. After three seconds, we display the word, hello. Now we'll use arrow functions with map, filter, and reduce. We have an array of numbers. Const numbers equals the numbers 1 through 6. Let's start with using the map filter to square each of these numbers. But we will use arrow functions. Const squares equals our original array numbers dot map. Normally, we would pass in a callback as an argument. 
Well, we're not going to do that. We'll use an arrow function. We have one parameter, an element, arrow, take each element, use math.pow to raise our element to a given power. Then let's console.log our squares. Console.log squares. There they are. Here are all the original numbers squared. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. Let's cube each number. Const cubes raise our element to the power of 3. Console.log are cubes. There are all the numbers cubed. We'll use the filter method to filter out any numbers that are odd. Const even nums equals array numbers. We will use the filter method. We can pass in a callback, but we don't need to. We will pass in an arrow function. We have our element as a parameter, arrow. We don't necessarily need a return statement if we have only one line of code. Take our element, modulus 2, is it divisible by 2? And does this strictly equal 0? If it does, it's an even number. Let's console.log our even numbers. 2, 4, 6. Let's do this with odd numbers. Odd nums. Take our element, modulus 2. Is it strictly not equal to 0? Display our odd nums. 1, 3, 5. And lastly, let's do reduce. We will get a total by summing all of the elements of this array. Const total equals our original array dot reduce pass in a callback or an arrow function. This time we have two arguments, an accumulator and an element. We have an arrow. Return our accumulator plus our element. Then display the total. Our total is 21. All right, everybody, so those are arrow functions. They're a concise way to write a function expression. They're good for simple functions that you only use once. You list your parameters within a set of parentheses, an arrow, then some code you would like to perform. In this example, we've written a more concise way to use the map, filter, and reduce methods. Normally, we can pass in a callback as an argument, a function expression, or an arrow function. And well, everybody, those are arrow functions in JavaScript.